Hello and welcome friends to the House of Props. I'm Buddy and today I'm going to show you the steps that I use to make this Phoenix Shan reconnaissance droid as seen in the book of Boba Fett. Let's get started. Today I'm using this amazing file created by Sasha Makes. I included a link to his website post as well as a link to his free file down below. I did scale up his model to a 2 inch diameter to make it easier to insert the light unit. The file was then printed on my Ender 3 Pro. You can find the print settings listed below in the description. While this is printing, go ahead and hit the subscribe and notification bell so you can be notified when a new video is released. Or if you're able to, scan this code to see all previous builds on this channel. To smooth my 3D prints, I always begin sanding the surface with a 120 grit sandpaper. Then I switch to a 180 grit and then finish with a 400 grit. This surface is a little tricky to sand because of all the small details. Just take your time and it will be worth it. When the pieces are as smooth as I can get them, I spray them with a two-in-one filler and sandable primer. This will help to fill print lines, but I had to watch how many layers I could use because the more layers, the less detail is seen in this piece, so I ended up only using two layers of the two-in-one primer. After each coat, I lightly sand the surface with the 400 grit sandpaper. After the second coat and sanding, I spray the surface with a flat black enamel. While the black is drying, I started to work on the light unit. To make the unit, I'm using this book light and this string of red LEDs I got at the dollar store before they decided to raise their prices to a dollar and a quarter. I removed the pieces of the book light I didn't need, like the light cover and the LED lights. Then I use my rotary tool with a cutting blade to remove the remainder of the plastic shell. I only needed the battery pack with its switch. Using my wire cutters, I remove the plastic on the tips of each wire, exposing about a half inch of the wire. Speaking from experience, be careful you don't cut through the wire. Then I cut off a section of the LED string which contained only four lights because that was all I needed for this project. Don't throw away the remaining lights because these can still be used on another project. I proceeded to strip the ends of these wires the same way as the book light. Then twisted the book light battery pack wires to the LED string wires. and wrapped each connection with electrical tape.
Before installing, I tested to make sure it was assembled correctly. This is a pretty simple unit to make, but I still wanted to check. Then I took my rotary tool with a small drill bit and drilled a hole into the side of one of the shell pieces. This will be the hole for the switch to stick through. Using CA glue, I attached the battery pack with the switch sticking through the hole. Then used Zip Kicker to cure the glue almost instantly. Since I scaled the print up, these LEDs fit perfectly into the holes. I just secure them with a dab of glue. To close the droid, I line up the notches that Sasha built into the design and secure on each side with just a drop of glue. This way all I have to do is just pop the seam when I need to change the batteries. The only paint technique I needed to apply was to dry brush metallic silver over the raised surface of the droid. Then it was time to send it out to do its thing. So you can see the steps that I used to assemble Fennec Shan's reconnaissance droid. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, and subscribe. And remember, if you are building any of my builds or using any of my templates, feel free and tag me at House of Props on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok because I would really like to see your fantastic work. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.